six months, it's, it went like that. Andy Bonner is a talent resident. Even six months after the Almeida fire, he still experiences the trauma that came with the flames. It, it leaves me very unsettled, uh, even as much as like when we had the high winds this past week, um, hearing things ping off of my my RV. The Almeida fire destroyed 2,659 structures. Almost 2,500 of them were residential homes. Just under 175 were commercial properties. As you drive through this burn scar down Highway 99, you see a lot of things that aren't cleaned up yet. But when you get off of Highway 99 and you go into these residential neighborhoods, you go into many of these mobile home parks, what you're going to see is a lot of work. Jackson County Emergency Operations Center head John Vile says out of the 1,500 individual mobile homes that were burned, about 600 are already cleaned up. He also says about 50% of the other homes are cleaned up. But even as major progress continues, there's still one major challenge the county is facing, housing. As of this morning, there was um, 875 um, individuals in 455 rooms and 20 different hotels that are being housed and paid for by the state of Oregon. That number also doesn't include the 91 families in FEMA trailers in the Rogue Valley. But as Phoenix and Talent continue to rebuild, Bonner is just happy for his community's resilience in its small town and big heart. I probably couldn't have asked for a better community to live in for something like this. In Talent, Katie Stripe, NBC5 News.